What impresses you most about someone the first time you meet them? Um, if they're, uh, I, I thrive on energy. I love energetic, passionate, exciting people, and, and that they're buzzed about what they're doing. They're jazzed and they're talking really fast and whatever. And I, I, I need that. My brain needs a lot of stimulation. So I think when people are excited and how am I doing to, so far? You're doing, you're doing fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> you're doing fantastic. <laughs> Your journey is an interesting one going back to 2001. At the age of, what, 32, hmm. you become president of the BD Development Group. 15 years as president, you've probably faced many highs and lows, uh, but this idea of just basic business principle. For anybody watching this right now, what do you say are the three core values of how you do business that's allowed you to grow your business exponentially? Um, I think there are so many that I can list, but if I want to narrow it down to three, I'd say uh, dependability being one, that we're true to our word. If we say we're going to do something, we do it, period. Like That's our commitment, and we always follow through, and that's uh, a value that's been um, instilled in me by my parents from a very young age, and I think my dad always said, like, if you tell me something, you better be 100% you be sure, because I, I've got to be able to count on your word. I think loyalty plays a huge role in it. We have uh, been fortunate to have many long-term employees. We measure their tenure in decades and not years. Just last week, we had two uh, people retire, one at 46 years and one at 30 years. And, and that this is a, uncommon in, in the development industry. I'm sure there's other great companies that have long-standing employees, but we've had two at over 50 years. Um, so we measure the relationships in extended periods of time. It's not just about this quarter or this year. It's, it's about in the next 10 years and 20 years, and what are people going to say about us? The reputation is, is everything. Um, and I would, the last one I think would be, you know, being, being honorable. Um, it relates back to, to the, the first one, but, but when our, our name is on a, on a building, it's almost a bit of a, like a lifetime guarantee. You know, we don't really put that on right, but our name is, is, you know, is behind it. If there's something that's wrong, we're going to, that's a structural inherent problem with the building, we're going to be there to stand by it. And I've told the story a few times. We determined a few years ago that some buildings we had constructed in 1992, 1993, um, the structural engineer had made some mistakes and the buildings actually weren't designed to the code at the time. They used the wrong zone or something. And of course, the standards today are much different. We didn't have any kind of legal obligation to go back and fix these buildings. But, you know, we've got 20 buildings that have this potential structural issue. We didn't hesitate. We have to, we're going to go back. Talk. We own, we own half the building still, but 10 of them are owned by others. You know, we go and meet the, the owners, tell them what we want to do, and we go in and, and repair them. And, and people are so, wow, like 20 years later, you come back and do this. But that's, that's who we are. We, we do the right thing. So it's this constant vision of down the road as opposed to the here and, and now. That notion right there, whether it's a student, a coworker, a VP that you work with, what's your approach to, to build key relationships and make every conversation count? I think to, be, to make every conversation count, have these relationships, it comes back to the issue of, of vulnerability, being open and sharing and not just having sort of surface type conversations, trying, you know, what is someone feeling? What are the issues? And, and, and you know, bury your soul a little bit. I'm very open with my, my friends and colleagues. And I'll, an example would be um, at our company Christmas party in December, you know, we announced my dad and I that he has dementia. And, you know, that's, that's a very personal, private, like, you know, um, significant medical condition. And he and I talked about it, and I thought, well, you know, if we're sharing this sort of thing with our extended family who, who are our employees, um, that's you know, very powerful. They're entrusted with this, and they feel like they're really part of something more significant, which, which they are. But we didn't hesitate to do that. And I think when you are open that way and you're, you're trusting and you share something, that leads to an intimacy and a reciprocation that can help create a bond to last a, a long time. Hey, it's Riaz. Thanks for watching. For more conversations, click on subscribe and check us out online at everyconversationcounts.com.